You know, I'm starting to think that these um, these upgrades aren't useless. Some of them are actually useful, like armor. I still have not unlocked that. Uh, I need to upgrade that once I get more points. Uh, detection. What is that about? Activate. Uh, that's useless. So one, two. Tacticals useless. Don't really care. Probably sprint's gonna be useful. Battery is going to be useful. Reload, quick aim, flinch, recoil, resistance, and the armor are going to be actual, actual useful upgrades. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to the next mission. Here we go. This time I got myself a copy. Life with Atlas was nothing like the Marines, but I wasn't complaining. With lives hanging in the balance, Atlas forces moved in swiftly to rescue the hostages. <laughs> God damn it, Gideon. I didn't know you were a movie star. Oh, easy now. I know it's probably the first time your backwards hillbilly ass has seen someone with a full set of teeth, but Ooh. don't get carried away. Damn. That's funny, because that's what your mom... Ooh. Did you see that shit? Who recorded this Not shit? bad, right? Uh, you got lucky. KVA is getting better every day. Whatever happened to that guy we pulled out a drink anyway, huh? Uh, Pines took that with him. It's fine by me. Badass, man. Fucking badass. As you were, son. As you were. Is there uh, something we can help you with, sir? Well, a glass would be a start. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Gather around, gents. There's an old military saying. You treat your men like you would your own beloved sons, and they'll follow you into the deepest valley. I lost my son. And it taught me the importance of seizing the moment, of saying what needs to be said when you have the chance. You gentlemen did a hell of a job out there. Lagos has opened up fantastic opportunities for Atlas. And for that, I'm grateful. To you, gentlemen. Say what you want about Kevin Spacey, but they, they, celebrate. they need to bring him back. But Gideon is right. We just got lucky. And the KVA was getting better. And thinking bigger. Every day. So Seattle? They need to bring him back for Advanced Warfare 2, man. I think that'd be freaking awesome. Seattle, Washington. People of the world, you have hidden behind the protection of technology. Technology is a cancer. I am here to liberate you from this cancer. Isn't that what you're doing? The world must be reset to its natural state. I am Hades. And I am in the northern laydown yard. Alpha has engaged multiple targets at GRG grid Kilo 49er. Everyone seeing this? All right. We have actionable intel that the KVA are trying to trigger a meltdown in the reactor building. We're inserting in the south courtyard and we'll push north. This shit ends in the control room. Get a position. You know... Before we get started here, there's only, out of all the crazy things that my parents have always said, like life advice or whatever, they've always said, if you talk trash behind someone's back, be prepared to hear it back. Because people will talk trash about you. And if you got nothing good to say, just keep it to yourself. Even though my parents are like brainwashed 1960s parents, you know, you know, my parents are really, really up there, you know. They're old school, and that's how they've always been like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But my parents have always been really old school. If you're, if you ever show up from school or from work or talk about crap that's so depressing, these, these are the things that my parents will say. Who fucking cares? Grow up, let it go. 
That's how old school they are. They don't give a fuck if you're happy, sad, or whatever. I know it's really harsh and really cold hearing that. And I know many parents have changed over the years. Heck, parents born in the 80s are completely different from the parents born in the 60s. But that's how my parents are. They're really old school. And if you ever, if I ever came home from school or something like that, and it's like, oh man, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to do this. I'm too lazy to do that. That's the way, that's the reason that I am who I am. You know what I mean? Because of my parents. That's how I was raised. So anyone, let me know in the comments below how you were raised. Uh, it's crazy. But <laughs> if I ever got home from school and said, oh, dude, I'm too depressed to do something. My parents would be like, who cares? Grow up. That, <laughs> no advice whatsoever. They'd be like, I don't care. Deal with it. Hey. Disengaging stealth. And also, before we get started here, also, I'm not trying to say that my parents were completely useless or anything like that. They'll give you some advice from here, you know, from time to time, you know, from their ex past experiences when they were my age. And they'll pass on that experience to me and be like, hey, uh, do this, do that. You know what I mean? That's how they were. They're really old school, like I said. So going up to my parents for advice, I'm not saying that going up to them and approaching them for advice or talking about something was like completely useless or anything like that. They'll talk about, you know, their experiences and whatnot and give you what they were, uh, basically they would go, they'll go ahead and tell you, you know, what to do and how they, how they feel about the, whatever situation you're in from time to time. But most of the time they'll be like, you know, whatever. <laughs> Those tangos on the roof. They were just really old school. Which makes me think I was kind of born in the wrong period of time or something. My brothers are completely older than me. They're like full 15 years older than me. They're from the freaking early 80s. I'm from like the late 90s. So it goes to show like the uh, the age gap between my siblings and, my, you know, and myself. Good effect on target. LZ is clear. We are in position, Bravo. Let's do this. Deploy your lines. Team 2 is deployed. Over. I believe I was supposed to Alpha. be born like Alpha. Yeah. 
kick. I'm getting shot from like every single fucking like. Who am I getting shot from? Alright, calm down. Hold on. Kidding me? It's still up. the fucking doors are in, dog. Come on. Damn. Clear. This way. Bravo. Reactor core temperature is climbing. That's bad news, right? Indicators are below normal rate, but hold it. We can still make it. Imagine how many spirits are roaming this area. Freaking Sam and Kobe would have a field day in this place. Junction. Head right. Through the reactor room. Stay together. Stay together if we die together. So annoying. Ooh. I can't see shit, dude. Contact. Damn. Here I got go, it too. Go, go. Enemy on the Contact, get it Bravo. Get through the reactor area as quickly as possible. Oh yeah. I 
forgot about that. I can like double boost. And yeah, and die like that and get my body shot at. Go, go, go. That was a fucking spirit. I'll come around and Bravo. fucking like, get through the reactor area as quickly as possible. Bam, that's fire. Fucking kill him already, dude. Look at that weapon. Use Sonic! Use Sonic! Oh, Looks like a Transformer. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, all these freaking like NPCs have like the worst fucking weapons of all fucking time. No wonder we're losing our future wars because these weapons are ass, dude. Oh my gosh, these lasers. I feel bad for like future soldiers in like in the 2040s. This is the bullshit they have to like have to like take care of. It's not even wars anymore, this is future warfare. We're using drones as a as a war now. There's not many people dying anymore. In wars, well, other than casualties, There's more casualties dying in wars now than actual like soldiers. We got heavy with the people get caught in the crossfire. It's not their fault. It's just the way that shit is now. It's tragic, honestly. These fucking lasers are trying to piss me off. What is it? EMP. Kill it! Wow. That was so cool. Most pointless. I'm getting shot from every single motherfucker that exists in the damn time. This shit's annoying as hell. One thing that's really annoying about this game is the, like, like the, these weapons just sound like ass. Switch. Deploy cover at zoo. Copy that. Copy that. I just screwed the whole room with the drone. That was easy. Better for me, since I suck ass at this game.
Right. Get wrecked, Carter. They rig the tomb. I don't trust doors anymore after that. Get on that console. Just imagine like trying to like open your door after a long day at work and that shit happens. That'll definitely wake you up. Like fuck that going back to work. You got this? Copy. We're seeing what you're seeing. Okay. Core temps maintaining. Need to flow the cooling pools. That was a trouble. The steam relief lights have been cut off. What? Stay with us a second ago. Binary route. Gideon, core temperature is critical. Abort. Gideon, We have a level 7 event. Withdraw from the area now. Oh, shit. Copy that. Bravo. That's no critical. Go! Let's get the hell out of here. Go. Reminds me of Aftermath from uh, Black Ops 2. What's that, what's that one map now? Every time I played on that map, I always got Tomahawk across the map. That was ass. I hate that fucking map. Imagine having a grenade that just ch chase you down like that. Crazy. Some madness, lads. Radioactive, radioactive. Whoa, 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 uh oh. Whoa, 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 uh oh. Alright, cool. So we upgraded the sprint and the armor. Even though I'm still going to get shit on, regardless of what I do. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. As always, guys, take care. Peace out.